Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga Tech. My name is Esther Eckhart, and today I've got with me Rachel Dare, who runs Organico Health Food Shop in Bentry, and her sister Eva Dare, who just finished her master's in international development. And I'm going to show you how to go into a triangle pose from downward facing dog today. Okay, for the uh, to get into triangle pose from downward facing dog, we're actually just going to start on hands and knees, tabletop pose. Good. And then keep your hands underneath your shoulders and place your knees further back behind your hips. Yeah, good. And then begin already by bringing the shoulders on the back. Okay, tuck your toes under. Inhaling, exhaling, push back in downward facing dog. Good. Keep the shoulders on the back. Yeah, that's it. Very nice. And then from downward facing dog, first we're going to lift the arm bones away from the floor a little bit. Yeah, that's it. To keep, really keep the shoulders on the back. And then take a big step forward with your right foot between your hands. Yeah, and help that foot up there. They don't need to do that. For some people just need to kind of bring that foot further up. Then drop your left heel to the floor. Good. Stay there for a moment. You place your right hand on the outside of your right foot and um, you're going to bring your, um, I have to actually mm -hmm. feel this for a moment. You're going to bring your right hip back, pull the right hip back strong. So pull up that thigh, begin to straighten the leg and just bring the right hip back as much as you can. And the left hip moves forward, yeah. And then with a straight leg, or if straight doesn't happen, you can place your hand somewhere on the leg. You're going to come up. You're going to turn your belly, your rib cage, and your chest, and you're bringing your left arm up. That's beautiful. Good, yeah. Nice. So then bring your spine right in line with the leg. There you go. And your hand right over the shoulders. And pull both shoulders back. So you're really getting an opening in the chest. That's beautiful. And then curl up more with the belly, the rib cage, and the chest. And you really want to pull that right hip back as much as you can and the left hip forward to create opening in the SI joints in the back, in the hips. And you can really see beautifully in Rachel as well that the right side body is as long as the left side body. And they both have that. Also, Eva has a lift there in the top of the right side body. And that's what you're looking for. Pull up strongly on the left leg there. Good. Bring the top of the left thigh back slightly. Pull that right buttock under more. Nice. Push into your feet. Good. And then gently, you can just come out by going back into downward facing dog to do the next side. Good. So stay in downward facing dog. You can feel the difference in your legs probably because you've worked one side. Yeah. And then you step your other foot forward between your hands. And again, if you don't, if you can't step in once, then help that foot down there. Drop the right heel to the floor. Yeah, that's it. So you always want to make sure that your toes are pointing in slightly. They both do that. And then you're going to bring your left hip back. So you're beginning to straighten that left leg, bringing that left hip back as you begin to straighten it. And then come in, open the belly, the rib cage, and the chest. Good, there you go. And bring your whole upper body back a bit towards me, Eva. There you go. That's it. So now her spine is right over her leg instead of moving forward from there a little bit. Pull strongly up on the right thigh. So you're pulling up energy top of the right thigh back a bit. Yeah. You're pulling up energy from the feet up into your hips. Yeah. And then extend that energy out right through the spine and down back out through the legs. That's good. The top of the shoulders move back to really get a chest opening, a heart opening. Yeah, length in the neck. That's beautiful. Open more the belly and the rib cage and the chest. And look up if you can along that arm. That's good. Inhaling. Open up more. Exhaling gently. Come out back to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale there. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Knees to the floor. Child pose. Okay. So that's it. And um, yeah, that's how you move into a triangle pose from a downward facing dog. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. If you're enjoying my videos and you want to do me a favor, then please comment, rate and subscribe to my channel.